it just me or could something like this be used for uh, like a vivarium to keep the uh, immersed plants kind of uh, more humid? Just the thought. But I will be walking around Aquashella, so I'll probably be jumping around to different categories. This is just some footage that I took of plants at a particular vendor. It, just in case you are curious what uh, a lot of these plants look like, I thought it might be helpful. Now, if you see the Crypt Flamingo, look at that price. Wow, but also look at the size of it. A question we get frequently are lights, and especially for nano tanks, I just thought I'd get some footage of these. They are very, uh, very nice and kind of streamlined looking, uh, but a little pricey though. Here are some sweet tanks. These two I refer to as mini low boys. Look at them. At some point I'm going to get them because they are just absolutely adorable. And I frequently get some inspiration at the saltwater side, or at least vendors selling saltwater stuff. And I don't know if these are shroom cubes or boxes, or I don't know what they are, or what they're meant for, but it looks like they're magnetically held on. And I would probably use them to kind of safeguard some smaller plants like uh, buse. This is a lifeguard tank that I always take footage of because uh, I've wanted it for some time. Really great for a vivarium. Off to the creator scapes. This is always fun, especially since we're now doing just kind of dry scapes with artificial plants. This one's mine. Uh, and they were really encouraging you to pull off the pieces, cut them, glue them, and why not? With fake plants, you can do everything that you can do with real plants. So if you're ever tempted to use artificial plants, I say go for it and treat them just like regular plants, except you can glue them, you can cut them, you can bend the uh, wire that's uh, the kind of the stem, just uh, go crazy and uh, of course you can reuse them then. Check this Cory out. Oh my goodness, it's a fireball Cory. Here's another great vendor uh, that we see in a lot of the swaps and shows and a lot of my favorite plants here, including Coffee Folia. All right, Ryan's booth, Wild Fish Tanks, super fun booth. And look at these, they're little photo tanks. I'm sure you've seen them, I haven't, but yes, I got both of them. So the next part, you'll probably have to pause the video, but which shirt did I get and which one would you pick? I got one of these shirts. So the shirt that I got was the Florida Least Killifish shirt, and that's the one that said least but not last. So cute. Now just wait and see what they had there. Anablups. Oh. My gosh, look at them. They are so cute. They just had two. And you can just see, I don't know if you can see the little eyeballs right above the water. Oh my gosh, they're just the cutest little thing. They were gone by Sunday. Funny shirt, love it. Always tons of raffles. And this is one of my favorites. It was a 12 gallon tall tank. Award has to go to Shelby for not only scaping, but also watching her baby. Saw a shark, just kidding. We went to Joe's Crab Shack. Thanks, Mr. Primetime. Thank you very much. Now back to the show. Flip Aquatics booth always has tons of cool stuff. And I've actually never seriously considered this, but after seeing this tank set up, I am seriously considering it. It's a Daphnia setup. Seriously considering it, especially for uh, fish that only eat light foods like Scarlet Battis. And their shirts, they always do a great job of stickers and shirts. Just love it. I got the Stay Cooley shirt. Thank you very much. And they always have a, an excellent selection of botanicals. 
And one of my favorites is this palm cap. Really beautiful. Now we did fly, so I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Um, only what I could stick into my bag, but that's definitely on my must have list. Aqua Top had some fun things. If you've ever wanted an arowana, there you go. A nice uh, personal size one. And a very, very tiny uh, glass cleaner. And why should the saltwater people have all the fun? You can get yourself some colored uh, uh, tubing. We do have this venti tank. I have scaped it before, but look at this one. And I probably showed it before because it's such a cute little size. I, I like that it's wider rather than deeper. And I do love the light that it comes with. And that lid actually works very nicely. You can kind of, it's got a little feeding hole and you can use it to pick it up as well. And then these little contraptions caught my eye. Not only were they kind of sparkly, but they could come in handy for a lot of different things. Um, I'm not really quite sure what, but it, it definitely uh, caught my eye and it'll probably stick in the back of my head, wondering what to do with something as cool as that. And these are the competition scapes. One of my favorites right there. And not, uh, I would say only three or so tanks had live fish in there. Of course, the black neon, very nice choice. And I don't know what this plant is. It's kind of like a bluish green. It was in a number of tanks, really beautiful. It's always amazing. They all have the same hardscaping to choose from, but each scape is completely different. And a lot of these, this was the start of Sunday morning, so everybody had not yet done their second water change, so a lot of them are cloudy. This was Shelby's. Love this one as well. Elephant skin stone broken up into millions of pieces, but look at all that texture. Love it. And the name, she called it Take a Hike. Love it. And this is another one of my favorites, the Desert Rain. I am a real sucker for petrified wood and I love how this is designed like it broke and it just kind of settled where it did. Let me know what, which ones are your favorites, but this came in fifth. This was fourth place. Third. Second. And first. Hopefully I got those places right. So. These are two separate pieces of wood. There's a bottom stump with a flat cutoff, and then this top piece that had a flat cutoff. And I matched them together and, and traced each one so I had the right profile to each, and then used a knife to carve it down to match. Then I glued them together and uh, tore off outer pieces of this wood in order to glue it on there and cover the seam up. So then it looks like one continuous piece. Prism Bettas is a must see. And if you know, you know, she's got the most beautiful selection of Bettas and my two favorite little doggies. Look at them. They're so cute. This blue and white one is always uh, a favorite if I see that color combo. So beautiful. Someday. All right, you may say substrates, yeah, big deal. However, this is a brand you may recognize from PetSmart. And there's the Galaxy sand. And then you'll also see black diamonds at. I've also got the flamingo. It's kind of like a pinkish hue. Beautiful. Um, selection of like their entire line but the diamond black and the galaxy i asked her what's the difference because i've seen both of them and it's actually the grain size like a lot of the others gravels and uh, whatnot but this um this little dojo area was super fun and this diamond black sand was combined with the what's called smooth lava rock and if you like round like completely round stones like i do for whatever reason i'm gonna have to keep my eye open for those and then this was just really pretty rock that had a lot of crystals. And look at that sand. I think it's a cichlid mix, but it was very, uh, very calming to kind of play with the sand. And that's a really nice, very tiny gravel. Carib Sea also had their full display. And it's nice to see it up close in person. These are a lot of our favorites, the Peace River. 
is a very nice color and then they have those little kind of vials that they add water to so you can see what they actually look like wet and this is one of my other favorites they look like little tiny river rocks sunset gold's really nice and then uh, it's kind of a darker kind of tan and then I also like to mix it with the moonlight sand which is a, a white without being like a bright bright white uh, but I do like the moonlight sand as well so it's really fun to see substrates up close and personal, especially when they have the, their entire line and you can either like play with it or see little samples like this. And then now uh, we'll finish up at the Space Coast Aquarium Society. They had beautiful tanks set up with the most stunning plant selections and some really fun fish in the tanks as well. But look at the colors of these plants. Oh my goodness. They had some little cute CPDs. And then some neons in here and uh, they, they just look really nice. It's kind of a reminder to have a black water tank with neons, really fun. And this is a beautiful plant, the japonica. It's grassy and if you don't have high light, it just doesn't get that red coloration, but it's, it's on the list uh, uh, for me to try. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week.